Alright guys, Red here. Today we are going to be looking at graphics settings, how to get the best performance for Star Citizen, and also we might touch on some other in-game settings, cover head tracking, things that you might want to enable or disable for you and your game. So before we begin, we want to bring up NVIDIA control panel, and you're going to want to come down to shader cache size. You're going to want to put this to 10 gigabyte and apply. In program settings, you're going to want to add Squadron 42 and you're going to want to prefer maximum performance, triple buffering on and vertical sync fast. You're going to want to come to your search bar, type power, edit power plan, change advanced power settings, make sure this is on high performance and then apply. Then you're going to want to go to privacy. Make sure everything in general is off, everything in speech is off, inking's off, diagnostic should look like this. Off, off, off. Then you're going to want to graphics settings, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, turn that on. Next you're going to want to change your page file size, so you're going to want to type advanced, do advanced system settings. Uh, performance settings, advanced, change virtual memory. Untick this, custom size, 10 gigabyte and 12 gigabytes, so 10,000 and 12,000 and then set and OK. Next you're going to want to get rid of game bar etc, so type DVR, enable Xbox game bar, make sure that's off, captures, game mode off. And then that's going to do it. We're ready to start the game. Okay, once you're in the game, you're going to want to go to Options and Graphics, obviously. Now, from what I can tell, it's usually the best idea to just put the settings as high as you can. And that's because it will take cycles off your CPU and put them on your GPU. So I have high, high and very high and everything else is off. Form grain and motion blur, etc. I've also got volumetric clouds off as well because I just don't like them. Your mileage here will vary dependent on the hardware that you're using so please feel free to mess around. It's probably best to change your environment quite a bit as well. Maybe start at medium on a station with these and then try high and then maybe start at medium on a planet and then try high and see if there's any major significant advantages. Okay, let's go through a few of these game settings and we're going to figure out what a few of these means. Obviously, most of these will be based on your preference because it's things like sprint toggle, crouch toggle, prone toggle, lean toggle, interaction mode toggle. I'm just going to pick out a few that are reasonably useful if you're just starting off. Flight coupled mode. This is if you put some throttle in and then take the throttle out, you will either keep drifting or you won't keep drifting. If you're coupled, the ship will stop itself. If you're uncoupled, you'll just keep drifting. This is just whether you want that to be a toggle that's held or not. Yeah, you can invert your HOTUS here. G-safe, this is, it basically stops you from blacking out if you're pulling too many Gs. It'll dampen your inputs so that you don't black out. You can turn off uh, proximity assist. This one, space braking gauges boost, is the only one that I actually use. This basically means that when you push the space brake, it uses the boost to slow you down, meaning that you slow down faster. Enhanced stick precision, this is really useful. You're probably going to want to dial this in at some point, especially if you're doing PvP. We're not going to cover it in this video. It's a pretty technical explanation and it involves a lot of messing around with your own hardware to figure out what it is that you want from this. I'm quite happy with the default. But it basically dampens your input when you're close or almost on target so that you don't oversteer or overshoot. And I don't think there's anything else in here that's immediately essential. Unless you're using head tracking, scroll down to pilot look ahead enabled and turret look ahead enabled and driver look ahead enabled and change them to no. And then you're going to want to come here to FOIP and head tracking and you're going to want to change this to whatever it is that you use. Track IR in my case. Also, if you're not going to be using this facial tracking software, 
disable it because it uses CPU cycles. And that's it, that's all for this video. That's your basic graphics settings set up and some basic game settings and your head tracking enabled. Next time we're going to be going over the binds. So remember and subscribe and thanks for watching. 07 guys.